Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, has experienced significant transformations in recent decades. One of the most notable changes is the rise of towering skyscrapers that have transformed the city's skyline and symbolize Malaysia's rapid development. These skyscrapers have not only reshaped the city's appearance, but have also brought about economic, social, and architectural changes in the country. Kuala Lumpur has emerged as one of the fastest growing metropolitan regions in Southeast Asia. It has evolved from a small mining town with tents in the 1800s to a vibrant hub of culture and commerce. Among the city's iconic landmarks, the Petronas Twin Towers, completed in 1998, stand out as the crown jewels of Kuala Lumpur's skyscraper boom. These towers were once the tallest buildings in the world, but eventually lost that title to other megastructures worldwide. In addition to the Petronas Twin Towers, Kuala Lumpur boasts another significant landmark known as the KL Tower or Kuala Lumpur Tower. This towering structure, also known as Manara KL, is one of the tallest telecommunications towers in the world. It offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city and its surroundings from its observation decks. The KL Tower is not just a telecommunications hub, but also a popular tourist attraction, adding to the city's allure. Now Kuala Lumpur is undergoing another phase of evolution with the construction of a new super tall building. This upcoming structure is set to become the second tallest building in the world, potentially marking the end of an era for mega tall skyscrapers on a global scale. Merdeka Wonder 18 also known as the Heritage of Independence, as it means independence in Malay, is set to become the second tallest building in the world and the tallest in Southeast Asia. With a height of 678.9 meters, or 2,227 feet, this mega-tall skyscraper is a testament to human engineering and architectural prowess. The name Merdeka and its architectural design hold immense significance in Malaysian history as they serve as a reminder of Tunku Abdul Rahman's iconic outstretched hand gesture, while fervent chanting Merdeka. Merdeka! 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 Marking the proclamation of Malaysia's independence on August 31, 1957, at Stadium Merdeka, the tower's design mirrors the silhouette of Tunku Abdul Rahman, raising his hand and exclaiming, Merdeka. This design element beautifully encapsulates the essence of freedom and advancement. Groundbreaking for Merdeka, 118, took place in February 2016, marking the beginning of an extraordinary engineering feat. Merdeka PNB 118 is being built on a site in the vicinity of the Merdeka Stadium in Jalanhan. Jabat Kuala Lumpur, it's only about 100 meters north of the stadium. The Merdeka Stadium is a historic landmark of Kuala Lumpur. It is where the independence of the Federation of Malaya formally declared and was once the principal venue in Kuala Lumpur for celebrations and sport events. The stadium also hosted numerous major concerts, including two concerts of History World Tour held by Michael Jackson in October 1996. The two sold-out concerts attracted a total of 110,000 people to watch on site. Merdeka 118, previously known as Manara Warasan Merdeka, KL-118, and PNB-118 is a super tall skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It's a staggering 118 stories high. The tower's spire was completed in October 2021, marking its final height at 678.9 meters above ground and 717.6 meters above sea level. Merdeka-118 holds the distinction of being the tallest building in Malaysia and all of Southeast Asia. It outstripped the 453.6 meter Exchange 106 to claim the title of Malaysia's tallest building and the 461.2 meter landmark 81 to become the tallest building in Southeast Asia. It achieved these records thanks to its towering 160 meter spire. The architecture of Merdeka 1 and 18 seamlessly blends modernity with meaningful cultural symbolism. The building's exterior features triangular glass panels that take inspiration from patterns commonly seen in traditional Malaysian arts and crafts. This distinctive design not only pays homage to Malaysia 
Malaysia's vibrant cultural heritage, but also serves as a symbol of the nation's diverse population. The brilliant minds behind this architectural marvel are the talented architects from Fender Katsalidis, a Melbourne-based firm renowned for their innovative creations, including the iconic Eureka Tower in Melbourne. Merdeka 118 stands tall in Kuala Lumpur as not just a remarkable skyscraper, but also a versatile mixed-use development designed to cater to a multitude of needs and purposes. This architectural marvel spans approximately 3.1 million square feet of floor space, promising a vibrant hub for various activities. At its core, Merdeka 118 offers top-grade office spaces spanning an impressive 83 floors from levels 8 to 96. With 1.7 million square feet dedicated to these spaces, it becomes a prestigious address for businesses and organizations, fostering a dynamic environment for productivity and innovation. Adding a touch of luxury to the tower is the 17-story Park Hyatt Hotel, a first of its kind in Malaysia. Nestled from levels 98 to 112, this world-class hotel boasts 252 guest rooms, promising guests an opulent stay and exceptional hospitality services. For shopping enthusiasts, the 118 Mall awaits, a seven-story shopping center set to open its doors in 2024. This retail paradise will offer a diverse array of shopping and dining experiences, creating a lively destination for both residents and visitors. One of the most exciting features of Merdeka 118 is the view at 118, an observation deck that ranks among the highest in Southeast Asia. Situated on levels 115, 116, and a mezzanine floor within level 116, this deck provides a breathtaking 360-degree view of Kuala Lumpur's urban landscape. Visitors will have the unique opportunity to witness the city from unparalleled heights, making it a must-visit attraction. To ensure convenience and accessibility, the tower also boasts six levels of underground parking, accommodating around 8,100 parking spaces. This thoughtful provision minimizes congestion in the surrounding areas, making it hassle-free for both visitors and tenants to access this incredible destination. The monumental Merdeka 118, a project owned by Permadalan National Berhad, PNB, is nearing completion and is poised to redefine the city's skyline. Tunku Datuk Ab Aziz Tunku Mahmud, the CEO of PNB Merdeka Ventures, the project's developer, shared exciting updates on this remarkable endeavor. PNB, the Malaysian National Investment Authority, will occupy a significant portion of Merdeka 118, spanning 17 floors within the tower. This underscores the importance and prestige associated with the building. PNB holds ownership of Merdeka 118 through its wholly owned subsidiary, PNB Merdeka Ventures. The construction of this architectural marvel started in 2016, encompassing not only the construction of Merdeka 118, but also the restoration of the historic stadium Merdeka. However, the COVID-19 pandemic posed challenges, causing a one-year delay in the project's completion. Tenku Ab Aziz emphasized that the development is now in its final stage stages, awaiting approvals from relevant authorities, including the Fire and Rescue Department. Once PNB relocates from its current location in Manara PNB, Jalan Tun Razak, Maybank is expected to become the next anchor tenant, contributing to a remarkable 70% occupancy rate. In addition to Merdeka 118's impressive structure, Stadium Merdeka, which has been closed since 2016, is expected to reopen to the public in the first quarter of next year. Meanwhile, plans are in motion for the renovation of the indoor stadium Nagara. Addressing concerns about potential traffic congestion in the vicinity of Pedaling Street, Tenku Ab Aziz reassured the public that ample public transportation options are available. The tower boasts its own Merdeka MRT station, and it provides easy access to the Plaza Rakyat and Hang Tua LRT stations, as well as the Maharaja Lela and Hang Tua monorail stops. Furthermore, measures will be taken to optimize traffic flow once the skyscraper is fully operational. Merdeka 118 is not only about grandeur, but also about sustainability. As of August 2023, it has achieved an impressive 97.8% completion rate and is on track to become the first tower in Malaysia to attain a triple green platinum rating from international sustainability certifications. This commitment to sustainability is attracting the attention of international companies seeking environmentally responsible and socially conscious buildings. Merdeka 118 is poised to become more than just a financial hub. It will encapsulate Malaysia's heritage, culture, and sustainability features, setting a benchmark for environmentally conscious buildings in the city. As Merdeka 118 enters its final stages of development. It promises not only to redefine Kuala Lumpur's skyline, but also to serve as a symbol of Malaysia's commitment to progress and sustainability on the global stage. Please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share your opinion in the comments section. Thank you!